In this video, let us see about the crisp set. For example, let us take some school name. Let it be Good Shepherd School. So, all the students studying in Good Shepherd School belongs to the universal set U. So, set U has all the students studying in Good Shepherd School. Next it is set A. Let us put all the 10 standard students studying in Good Shepherd School in set A. So 10 standard students. Next it is set B. Let me put all the 12 standard students studying in Good Shepherd School in set B. So, 12th standard students. Now, let me draw the diagram for these three sets. The three sets are U, A and B. Where U is the universal set. So, the drawing for this is, this is the universal set U. Inside the universal set U, there are two sets. One is set A and one is set B. We can see that there is nothing common in between A and B. That is, there is no intersection between them. Intersection means if this is set A and if this is set B, there will be something in common between these two. Over here like that, there is nothing common. So therefore, A and B are disjoint sets. Disjoint set means there is nothing common in between the two sets. Here the two sets are A and B and there is nothing common in between A and B. From this we can understand that one student can either belong to class 10 or class 12 and not in both. A student can't study 10th and 12th standard at the same time. He or she can either be in 10th class or in 12th class and not in both. Now let me write the rule for this. Whichever element is inside the boundary of set A hundred percent belongs to set A. Next it is, whichever element is outside the boundary of set A, 0% belongs to, it belongs 0% to set A. So now let me explain these two statements with an example. Now let us take three students. The first student's name is Rani. The second student's name is Meera. And the third student's name is Reena. Now let us take that Rani is studying in 10th class. Meera is studying in 12th class. And this Reena, she is from the same school Good Shepherd. But she is not studying in 10th or 12th class. She is studying in some other class. For example, let us say 8th class. She is in 8th class. So now look at this definition. Here the elements means Rani, Meera and Reena are only the elements. So whichever element is inside the boundary of set A. So now here it is Rani. Rani is obviously inside set A because... Set A is for the 10th standard students and Rani is in 10th class only. So Rani is inside set A. So it is inside the boundary of set A. So therefore this 100% belongs to set A. So Rani 100% belongs to set A. The second element is Meera. Meera 
is she inside this set a obviously she is not inside set a because set a is only for 10th standard students whereas meera she is from 12th class so therefore whichever element is outside the boundary of set a so obviously meera is outside the boundary of set a because meera is not from 10th class so therefore she belongs 0% to set a meera belongs 0% to set a the next one is reena so reena is the element now she cannot be inside set a because she is not from 10th class she is from 8th class therefore she is outside the boundary of set a therefore 0% she belongs to set a now let us see for set b if you take rani she is from 10th class whereas for set b only 12 standard students are allowed so therefore rani is outside the boundary of b so therefore 0% she belongs to set b next it is meera she is from 12th class therefore she belongs to the boundary b she belongs to the set b therefore 100% she belongs to set b next it is reena she doesn't belong to set b because she is not from 12th class therefore it is outside the boundary of set b therefore 0% she belongs to set b and this reena she doesn't belong to set a as well as to set b because she is not from 10th or 12th class she is from 8th class in crisp set it can either be 0% or 100% it cannot be any number in between these two in between these two we are having from 1 to 99% these are not allowed 99% is not allowed 50% is not allowed nothing in between is allowed it should be either 0% or it should be 100% it can't be any number between these it should be either yes or no true or false no justifications nothing 0 or 100 percentage is only allowed in crisp set so this is about the crisp set